tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Let's get started with animation. Hi there, you probably watched this tutorial much later than when it was created. It was created in December 2019 with the brand new version of Maya 2020. Of course, this will be obsolete pretty soon because we'll have 2030 soon. Anyway, but uh, new in Maya 2020 is a feature which is called end caching for Dynamics. The icon is down here and um, we'll create a little bit of cloth to make our machine work a bit. Uh, it should not be that easy for the machine to work now because um, we want to do caching. So let's create a disk for example and now we create a cube. Now let's uh, rotate this a little bit just like this and maybe rotate this a little bit as well. We select both of them and go to FX, that's the special effects, and create in cloth. Very simple. And in order to see things better, I give them a shader and um, I prepared some shaders using Substance Alchemist, but uh, you can give this the color red and the other one blue, whatever you like. woven textures. I really like Alchemist, I'm sorry to say that. Okay, um, now we run the simulation and down here you see that orange-yellow sort of line which we've been used to since my 2018 I guess. Now they both fall down with the same gravity and the gravity sits actually here, it's the nucleus, but we don't care about the gravity but we want them to interact with each other and that's why we go back to the very beginning here and um, select the lower one and the vertices with the right mouse button and um, just select those here and a few at the back and now I go to end constraint and I create a transform constraint that means basically that the cloth is supposed to stick there with a strength of 20 which I reduce to 10. Now the lower cloth cannot fall down that drastically and the top cloth needs to rest on the on the lower one. This is some calculation work for Maya and you see it goes very slow on a machine which is basically four years old. I think the calculation is quite nice. Now we come to caching and this is the new thing here. We have a an exclamation mark we have a problem here caching the end cloth uh, and that is very simple to fix so you right mouse click here and you go to cached playback preferences you probably don't see this in the screen recording here but it's called cached playback preferences this opens the preferences which you could have reached via windows settings preferences preferences it's a different way to get to the same thing cached playback is what we need and here you have the cache playback activated or deactivated the key thing to tick on is cache dynamics because this not only works for n cloth it, it works for, with all nucleus objects n particles for example so we cache dynamics now and we save this and close it. Now something interesting happens. You see a red line slowly developing from the left to the right. This is the Dynamics cache. Once it's finished, we can actually scrub back and forward. But until it's finished, we can already work in that area here. And that's pretty cool, isn't it? So we have all possibilities to walk around in the scene, have a look at the at the scene from the bottom, introduce new geometry if we like, and just sit and wait. What I found, and maybe this will be fixed later, is when you have that dynamic cache switched on, which we just did via this icon down here, and you render the scene the scene only renders the proper dynamic 
situation until, for example, right here. If you stop the caching now and render it, it will only render from frame 1 to 120 and after that it will just stay static. The caching of course depends on the complexity of your scene and our scene is middle complex. The complexity comes mainly from interaction between one cloth object and another cloth object or another n dynamics object like a passive collider. Now let's we can scrub back and forth and this is really elegant. You see how the top cloth, the disc, slips off. And with this I'll leave you for now. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.